Man, I ain't never been disrespected as much as I've been disrespected by these guys we're about to play right here. We played them when they were on a four game streak on my inside out playmaker, 91 overall. Robo was on his play shot, first day back on the guard in a month. And they was using, we was using screens. We're running a made lineup, paint bees, my build and the play shot. And they double with the pure red and the P-lock from the moment he touched the rock to the moment he passed the rock. He, they didn't care about the twos, that's how we play. But they started running laps. As you see, I got my scoring machine. They started running laps in the middle of the game. Dog, them turn into full Olympians, dog. Full really race. Them run the really race in the middle of the game. Like that's how disrespectful that, that's how disrespectful they got, dog. That we were still in the game and they just started running laps around the court. So after we lost that game, that was it. We switched the lineup back up. All right. I got out the scoring machine that I'm 90 and two within the stage. Record is 90 and two. And it's just going to keep getting ran up. And then we brought that same energy to them. Two P locks, basically. You know, even though they had a pure red, dunk on you was pure red. Nonetheless, I knew no pure red or no P-lock is going to be able to hold my build, bro. I'm sorry. You just, I keep telling y'all, you're going to have to pick a side. Which one you want? You want to give me the dunk or you want to give me the three? And if you give me the dunk, I'm going to get the three the next possession if I want to. Because I know the moves that's going to enable me to get the three whenever I want. It's just if 2K is going to give me a full white because there's no floor general being ran for me. And I have a 91 three ball and I got like three full whites back to back to back in the stage and we still won the game. Insane. But they got so disrespectful. They started running laps. They started hopping in the game chat. All three of them, dog. In the game chat. Dancing. I said, all right, let's see you do it when we got our real lineup out. Let's see you do it when I'm running on that scoring machine. Let's see you do it. And as expected, not only did we take the streak, but we took that VC and we waited for them to spin. And they didn't have the guts to spin. They didn't. Because they know what was going to happen. It was going to be an even a worse flood session. I'm telling y'all, look at my, my bodyguards. This is the lineup right here that we're undefeated with in the stage. With Robo, we're undefeated. With Tyrone, we only lost two, the first two games, and that's because the guard was cheating. But we're 90 and 2 in general with this build. It feels like 2K20 all over again. If you know how to use this build, bro, it's a GG's. Because you know, when people run screens, here's why they beat people that ISO when they use screens. And even my boy Cheese caught on to it. You know, a lot of ISO players need to catch on. I'm trying to help y'all out because I do both and I study both. So I know the tendencies of both. A lot of screen users are going to do what you see right here. They're going to take the two. They're never going to have a possession where they come up empty handed. All right. They're going to get the two or they're going to get the three. With this build right here, you're a one man screen machine. It's as if I have a shadow clone. Matter of fact, if you look at the screen right now, you can see my shadow clone. I can get the three or the dunk every possession. You take away my three, I'm going to go dunk it. And I have not been blocked one time. Actually, only one time in 92 games. And it's because I tried to go dunk on somebody and he had a chase down. But I even had a contact animation. You're going to see on this pure red. I had a contact animation that they jumped out of. And the only reason why I'm not putting a lot of edits in this video is because we're going to be ready, getting ready to play the event that's going on today. I'm gonna try to win it. I ain't, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. I need some hardware on this build, bro. I need this is the type of build you can win some hardware. So we're gonna try to win it with this build. And if we win it with this build, mercy. But as I was saying, with a play shot ISO, unless you have a play shot like mine, you're not necessarily going to get a dunk every time, especially with a pure red on the floor like there was. He's gonna chase that stuff down sometimes, or even the P lock if they have chase down on. They're going to get a block, but with this build, you're going to see they can't get no blocks. They can't get no stops. They can't even bump me half the time. They can't rip me. In fact, I've only got ripped probably like three times. And in this game, I think I got a lucky. They got a lucky plug. Now, right there, I could have shot that rock, bro. But you're going to watch this right here. Look at the gather. I was going to get a contact animation. A contact animation with play take. If I had slash and take, no doubt I would have been getting a contact dunk right there. But you do see why I chose play take. I don't get ripped. And with gold playmaking badges, you need that security. 
Now, if you want to double up and make it extra secure, you can always run ball handling boost. But with that play take, it gives you some more blanket. Now, you saw they were only as close as we let them. If we would have secured those couple points right there, the score would have been straight. But guess what? No worries. Right here, you're going to see he gets a pluck. I get it right back. Now, reach again. I'm gone. I'm gone. Now, I'm trying to kill for the three, but I see that. Hey, let me just go ahead to get the two. IQ tells you we're going to be back up by three anyways. And now that Showtime just gave both my lockdowns takeover. Both of them. So GG's. Right there, he had the shot, but I know he got a little nervous because now they get a better shot contest. But pay attention to how late my reach was. They literally made my player turn around before he reached. I was reading the passing lane, but I was too far out. I was ball watching as well. That was on me, but I'm going to make up for it anyways because they thought that they were going to win. Right there, I could have shot that. I ain't going to lie to you. You can shoot from anywhere with this build just like a play shot, but you know what? I'm going to just go take the two for safety just to show them. We can do what you do, but better you. You hear me? We can't do it better because we don't need no next month. We are setting a screen for it. All right? We don't need it. You see, if we want to do it, we can do it. But we don't need no mana. I sit on there. I hold. You see me? We don't need none of that. All right? We don't need it. But if we did want to be on a different level and just violate the man, them, we could do that, dog. That's what you can do with this build. Now, bring that lock out here. He got that bump steal, man. I was anticipating that pass so long ago, but that was a great read by that lockdown. Just to show y'all how good stage locks are, that was a great read, bro. I salute that play because that was an excellent read. Now, they have a chance to take the lead because of that. He greens it. That was a clutch shot. I will give him that, but that wouldn't have happened if I didn't make that mistake, right? But guess what? No worries. Double team all y'all want. This build is the Thanos build, the Jamaican Thanos build. It might have all of the infinity stones them. So watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this. Seti slide. Hold on. He thought he could hold me. I can do, I can work the defense, bruh. That's the, bro, I'm going to get that showtime every single time. My lockdowns can get takeover two times in one game. My bodyguards, dog. And you see me rocking that aviator cap. My bodyguards make it. Look at the, look at the lockdown. I got him in that corner. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting him. I ain't finna let him get no more threes off. I'm fighting him, dog. I can't, I can't afford for this man to get no threes off because I've noticed one thing. The first game, they just kept dotting him even when the big was open in the paint. But you see, they had an opportunity. They keep trying to get the three. They're stubborn. You're not going to get another three off. In fact, let, let me go ahead and take that possession from you because guess what? You didn't take the two, which I don't blame you because you know where that was going to lead to. We're going to get the two no matter what. Now watch me get this three real quick because you think I'm just going to rim run the whole game. Nah, I can get the three whenever I want to get the three. Yee, hold on. Send it. Send it. I'm telling y'all, bro. They sleeping on this build. That's why I went and go. I got the build out just to show them it wasn't sweet. My boy hit me. Hey, he hit him out of bounds real quick. I had to show them it was a fluke game. And just to be disrespectful, they think that I'm going to go dunk the two. Look at that. They're setting up a... It's look, it looks like they're playing Madden the way they trying to hold me. Look at this. Get off the court, bro. I told y'all, boys. Don't ever try to do nothing disrespectful like that again when it was a fluke. If I was on my scoring machine ISO in that game, that game would have been over with. It just sucks because they were just full court press doubling Robo. And that's why I don't run made a lineup because we got something for you. You want to do that? We're going to do it to you. And good luck getting put on that ISO because when people actually know how to ISO, it's a wraps. And ISO takes more skill because of that. Because you don't have another man trying to get you open. You have everything to do on your own, bro. You got to make the reads. You got to make, you got to do everything on your own. And then you got to get open against these locks. ISO takes more skill. Now, this was the meta lineup we were running. I was on my inside out playmaker, right? This was the meta lineup we were running. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of tough getting adjusted to the max wingspan again, since I've been so used to shooting on the minimum wingspans and a, a short guard. But, you know, I was getting adjusted to it pretty good. That game that we lost and they started running laps, I missed like two threes, but the game was already over. Then I green one. But nonetheless, I know what jump shot I got to put on it to really be sparking in that corner right now until I get this build to at least a 96, 97. It's where my green window goes to like a 86 instead of an 84 and I get 10 shooting badges. But this is a real lockdown build. This is just a little sneak peek of the build before I drop it. 
And like I told y'all, bro, y'all thought I was capping when, look at this right here. You see what I'm talking about? I missed a wide open and that rarely ever happens, but I'm showing you why I had the jump shot, the wrong jumper on. Not only that, like I said, if you have a max wingspan build, you know how hard it is to get adjusted back to it when you went on a, a, a guard that has minimum wingspan and a 90 something three ball. All right. It's not easy, but if I would have played probably two more games on this build, I would have been definitely sparking it every single time. Nonetheless, for right now, the build is just a corner sitter just because, like I said, we're running meta. I don't have the, the three ball capability right now to really sit here and work those screens with this build. But when I'm a 99, I definitely will be able to do that. Don't even worry about that. But we're going to be doing ISO whenever I do this. I'm going to tell the big sit block or go to the corner because Caillou has builds that can do both. These two builds are my favorite, bro. I cannot lie to you. You can get blocks. You can get steals. Look at this. Boom. No rim protector on. And I got that block. And he was going to get Showtime right there. And I got Gold Heart Crusher. Now, we got the Showtime from Caillou. This is going to be, you know, obviously the second most used build I use whenever I'm not running guard. And this is the, this is the only build we've lost, you know, lost on because something stupid happens and we lose the game and I can't even do nothing to help out. Like it's just always 2K always doing something. You already know that they always going to do something. They're going to make them make like a 50 white for game or something. It's just that's just the nature of the RNG in this game. And it is. Look at my boy Hitman real quick. Hitman, do it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> Anyways, big up on myself. Big Lord Almighty. Cause we can't do not not uh, GVO on a don't know the 10 guy already. Like I said, not too much edits. We about to start preparing for this event and let's see if we can win it. I hope this thunderstorm don't make my lights go out, bro. When we're already like two hours in, tough. Big up on yourself, y'all. Man, gimme gone.